So we also have our lower school teachers available, Mrs. Audrey Brooks and Mrs. Jamie During. Um, Jamie, do you want to get started on lower school? Our day is pretty similar in some ways to kindergarten. We have a morning work in the morning. We have, then we have morning meeting, time for us to get together and pray as a class, do our calendar and weather, count the days in school, and just have like time to just sit and read a book and just talk to the kids, see how they're doing and how their days are. And we do reading every day and math. We do social studies and science during the week religion first grade is a really exciting step for first um, for the kids because they get to have lockers which is a very exciting concept to them and they have homework weekly they get a homework folder that goes home on mondays and it has math handwriting um reading and they have spelling words each week and then that comes back on friday and there's a spelling test on friday as well and one of the big things in first grade is for us to try to build a, a strong academic foundation, but to also build a strong foundation for them to build responsibility and respect for things around them and for others. Because we do a lot of um, small group activities like word workstations, and we try to just build that respect on how to respect the materials that they're using, but also to express exp um, to respect the other students in the class. So we do that, and there's so much growth from the beginning of the school year to the end, and it's just amazing to see those aha moments in them, and just to see that growth with their reading and their sight words, and the handwriting and the the writing itself, and coming up with sentences that are complete sentences and just the simple things like sentence structure as well. So, and then at the end of the school year, first grade is responsible for um, putting on the end of the year prayer service where they themselves are going up on stage and they're or on, on stage on the altar and they're reading. So just for them to be able to have that confidence in themselves to be able to do that is amazing to see. And for this year, we've had, we had two first grade classes with a shared assistant. So like Miss um, Carafinello said, it's nice to have that assistant to be able to pull kids aside that do need a little bit extra help or to keep an eye on a group or just to walk around and just um, help other kids out if I'm busy with another group. And uh, yeah, so. Thank you, yeah. Jamie. You're welcome. Audrey, do you want to go next? Sure. Uh, good morning. My name is Audrey Brooks. Um, I currently teach fifth grade um, at Venerania. I've taught third grade and fifth grade. I've been teaching for over 30 years, so I bring a bit of experience. I also have the experience of being a past student there. Um, I went there for grade school. And my daughter also goes to school there. So I have a lot of, you know, different ways of looking at the school. I think it's just an amazing place. So um, in teaching fifth grade, I'm, I'm upstairs um, where Miss, Miss During is downstairs with the um, first through third grade wing. Um, in my wing, we have basically fourth and fifth grade uh, teachers and, and classrooms. This year, we've been fortunate enough to have two fifth grade classes, which is really nice to have um, a partner to work with. And uh, we teach independently in the sense that we each have our own rooms, uh, but then we also do an awful lot of sharing. So whenever we do anything like a science or a STEM project, we tend to share. And for parts of the year, we've been mixing the groups to do reading groups. So the kids still have an awful lot of movement back and forth. Um, <clears throat> one of the things that we definitely strive for in our area is to um, really look at um, each class um, for what they are and to get a feel of how they learn best and how we can educate them best and how we can inspire a love of lifelong um, learning and that we can inspire them to just want to keep learning for the love of learning um, and not just because they're in school. So we do this through, um, obviously, through regular academics as well as hands-on learning. We teach 
reading through, we have a, a basal reader, we have a regular basal reader, but we also do an awful lot of chapter books. We have an English and a grammar series that we work with and a vocabulary. We also do spelling. Um, our kids still work uh, in the lower grades down in Jamie's Wing, they learn cursive and we continue with that up through our grades. We teach religion, obviously, and that's a very important part of our day. Uh, we do science and social studies. We do STEM work weekly, and uh, we teach the kids how to use the computers. This year was great because we had a lot of opportunity to have Chromebooks in our classrooms, and they, they get a six-week intro course to robotics. So it's a very comprehensive program that we're working on upstairs, and we're getting ready. Fifth grade is obviously getting them ready for middle school. So we do a variety of different activities to make sure that they're not just academically ready, but they feel socially and emotionally ready to move on. It, it seems funny to say that because they're really only going down the hallway, but they always get a little bit nervous. So we always make sure that um, they get an experience just going into that, that hallway to make sure that they're comfortable going over there. Um, we do two main field trips a year, which are really exciting for them. Um, <clears throat> we go to the Pequot Indian Museum in the beginning of the year, which connects to our social studies. And at the end of the year, we generally go to Boston on a tour. Uh, the last two years, this year also would have been um, going to on a tour called Pirates and Patriots, um, which obviously we're not able to do, but that ends our social studies curriculum. And then usually throughout the year, we, we get to sneak in a couple of really cool field trips um, where we do something at uh, Mrs. Schleppitz. Uh, took us to the art museum this year and we got to see um, a specific exhibit that she wanted us to see. Last year, um, Miss, Mrs. Beaudry uh, took us to, um, uh, we went to a music thing down at, um, down in downtown Worcester. So we definitely try to get in as much hands-on and, and, and interactive types of learning as possible. Uh, you saw a few slides ago, some of my kids with some of their great projects that they've been working on in science. They really love the hands-on um, activities. Um, ironically, some of those activities were things that they came up with on their own. They were only asked to do PowerPoints and present some information. They asked to go above and beyond. So it, it's really inspirational to work with kids who want to learn so much. Thank you.